Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. This is Video Games on Tour. I'm Frank Locke. That's Frank and then Locke with me at the end, and today we're going to be continuing our tour through a Velvet Assassin. Last time we had uh, oversensitive uh, Nazi guards, and now, well, we're headed down. And gonna kick some ass, take name, and good God, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna bash some heads. Alright. Steady. Steady. Alright. So far, so good. No one sees us. Ha ha. Alright. Hmm. Alright, I don't think those guys down there will be able to climb the ladder. Alright. And you! You died! Hopefully. Okay, now they definitely won't see me. Got body armor. No need for med kit. Well, it's not a cult 45, but it will do. It will do. I mean, I'd say I'm not cult 45 because it isn't suppressed. Alright. Nobody's there. Huh. Nah, I don't need a med kit. Alright, let's get ditch the mask and move on. Ah, so this is where they took that other guy. See, normally I would just say, hey, look, there's gonna be a major firefight. What? Shit. Only well, got plenty of ammo for these suckers. Wow, she's a pretty good shot. Where's that asshole? Okay, never mind. Yeah, flamethrowers. Gotta love them. Don't hate, just love them. All right. All right. Let's hurry it up. Get to the shadows. All right. Not sure. They'll see me, but better than nothing. Hmm. All right. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. All right. Ah, collectible right there. All right. Oh, not even collectible. It's freaking ammo. Wow, three magazines worth of ammunition. That is great. I've only had this much for Cult 45s, but that's okay. Wouldn't be realistic otherwise. Shit. And that didn't go well. Alles klar, habt ihr erwischt? 
Yeah, so the one thing I learned in this game is not really about sneaking past enemies. It's really how you, how well you can kill them. I mean, then again, it is called an assassin for a reason. I guess. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this would be a very good time to be able to go prone, if nothing else. There are two guards. I could easily take them both, but I think there are other people downstairs. Alright. Alright, let's go. Don't see me. You don't see jack shit, and I'll tell you that much. Alright. I could pick him off at a distance, but like I said, I don't have any suppressed ammo. So, yeah. Oh, you son of a bitch. Got him. Alright. They don't see me, that's good. But they'll be coming my way. God damn it! That bullet should have gotten the flamethrower guy. Ah! This probably would have been a good time to have gotten more morph. Ah, motherfucker. And I'm dead. I apologize, folks. This might take a while. Just bear with me. Hmm. This is... This pisses me off. Considerably. Yeah, don't miss in this game because, yeah, that happens. Like I said before, guns will instantly kill you more or less, flamethrowers will kill you even more instantly. So, if you're gonna shoot them, don't miss and be sure to hit them as much as possible. Going prone and sticking, you know, and hugging, you know, cover would be really great in this game. At its most, it's really just bare bones. Hopefully he doesn't get too close to me. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah. Trial and error seems to be another thing that you gotta do often in this game. To the point it actually really frustrates you and it makes me really happy they put a checkpoint in this area. Like just before, because that would have pissed me otherwise. Alright, let's see. Waiting for them to step aside. Alright. Okay, I want to try something. Yeah, apparently shooting their fuel tanks will not help.
Yeah, these guys piss me off. Got a med kit. Another med kit. Shit, how many of these people are there? And this isn't like Metal Gear Solid where you have constantly responding enemies. There's actually a finite number of enemies, which I like. And they don't come back up. You know, they don't respawn or anything. Which is a good thing. Yeah, sometimes you're gonna feel yourself having no choice but to open fire on these assholes. And that just pisses me off. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Too many crazy people in this area. Alright. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's move a little bit forward. 1822 kills. 5 of 18 silent kills. So basically... How many kills you made and how many of those kills were silent? Yeah. I'm a rookie. That's great. Let's move on. Only the third man was left. There was nothing I could do. Nothing aside from breaking into the Kasaba prison and serving him with cyanide. Who would want anything else in such a situation? There's nothing to lose when everything is already lost. The city was swarming with soldiers. Immediately after I left the sewers, I saw the face of death. A mixture of madness and despair. I don't know about you, lady, but if, um, let me put it like this. If I was in a prison cell and I was, you know, given the decision between cyanide and rescue, I'll take rescue. I think I might want some rescue and not cyanide. You know how it is. Alright. Oh, some dude just got hanged. I guess he failed hang, man. Huh? Uh, okay, that, that was horrible. I apologize. Let's move on. Alright. Ooh, shit. <laughs> you got distracted by dead bodies, and therefore you became a dead body. <laughs> I'm not being paid enough for this. I just realized. I felt ill as I left the sewers, and saw an even greater evil. I was in the middle of the ghetto, or what was left of it. It was more like a ghost town. I had to carry on, find a way to the Gestapo prison. All right, then. Ah, you son of a bitch. I was totally in the shadow. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that was total bullshit. That was completely bullshit. I was in the shadows, and you know it. Alright, gonna grab some morphine. Hey, guy. Hanging around? Yeah, he's definitely going to be hanging around. God, I'm such a dick. Not sure how I feel about that. Oh, oh, right in the kidneys. He ain't going to be peeing again for a while. Alright, let's get up there. I felt ill as I left the sewers. And saw an even greater evil. I was in the middle of the ghetto, or what was left of it. It was more like a ghost town. I had to carry on, find a way. Hold on, 
Well, that thought. Hey, buddy! <laughs> oh, God. This is great. This is too great. Alright, let's see what's here. Okay, looks like I should not have walked. Alright. Well, they probably know where I am. Alright. That now leaves me with five rounds. That's complete bullshit. Make that three rounds. Okay. Okay, I see how it is, game. I wanna be like that? Fucking dick. Well, at least I don't have to worry about sneaking around in this area. Area secured. Let's move on. Okay, this is no good. Plenty of dead people. Oh, something's breaking. Alright. Let's see if we can get past this situation. Like I said, this game could have been great, but there's just so many things wrong with it, and a lot of features that really should have been in there. Like going prone, for one. Uh, attaching the cover. I mean, I understand. If these guys couldn't animate those kinds of things, I would understand. I mean, I'm not a game developer. Although I've been in the talks with my friends on developing a really basic game, but sheesh. I can't imagine how hard it must be. All right. All right. Just gonna stand away. All right. Step right up, folks. Yeah. He was apparently the last guy. At least I got morphine, so in case anything goes wrong. Alright, that takes care of that, except for that one guy. Alright. Let's get in there. Alright, let's look at the situation. Alright folks, this is where I'm going to have to leave it off. I'm sorry. I know, it was getting interesting right back there. Alright, I'm Frank Lock. That's Frank then Lock with me at the end. And as always, have some chips and salsa, baby.